everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So we have a very laid back, chilled kind of video today, as you can tell by this whole situation. It's rainy, it's horrible, so I just wanted to be cozy, hence the hoodie, and the fact that I've literally done nothing with my hair. But we're gonna move past that. But yeah, we've got a nice laid back, chilled video today. Um, if you can't really tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a lip filler Q&A. Um, just to give you a bit of like background, I had my lips done I actually think it was like a month ago today. I pretty much had my lips on a month ago today. Um, and I thought I would do like a Q&A because I did say in the vlog that I would do a Q&A eventually um, and answer all of your questions that you have. I did ask that on Instagram. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, um, I will pop it on screen now. But do give me a follow because that is where I tend to ask like these Q&A videos where I ask out for questions. Um, but yeah, so I've got a list of questions which were like most frequently asked by people. Um, and I'm going to answer them. That is the whole point of a Q&A. Get a cuppa or your beverage of choice. Obviously mine's a tea as it's cold and rainy. Not that I need an excuse to drink tea. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and without further ado, we're just gonna get straight on into the video. If you're new around here, please do make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I upload weekly. My videos tend to be around fashion, lifestyle, a bit of fitness thrown in there as well. I have some things planned for my channel as well, which is exciting. So yeah, please do make sure you subscribe and without further ado, let's get straight on into the video. A little bit of background. I have my lips on about a month ago now um, at a place called co and Beauty in Brighton. Um, and it was Aesthetics by Eloise that did my lips. I'm going to really quickly insert like a before and after now so you can see like up close obviously the before and after, what my lips were like before and what they were like after they've been filled. Um, I only had 0.5 mil um, and I'm actually going back for another 0.5 mil at the end of November which is exciting um, because I've got the bug now. I probably won't like do any more than that but um, yeah I'm going back in November for another top up. Um, but I went to, like I say, Co-Power and Beauty and it was Aesthetics by Eloise that did my lips. Um, and yeah, also if you head on over to my Instagram, I'll place the picture here. If you go onto that picture, there is a discount code um, if you are local to like West Sussex or the Sussex area and you do go to Eloise to get your lips done, um, there is a code there for you to get some money off, which is really good. But yeah, that's the general consensus. Got my lips done about a month ago now. They are fully healed and I still really, really love them. Um, and I can't wait to get them topped up because obviously they've gone down since I first had them done. But that initial like swollen look I really liked, which is obviously what the extra 0.5 mil will do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get cracking with the questions because I seem to just like ramble aimlessly if I don't have like a structure, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll get started with the questions. Like I said, I'll start on Instagram and I've just kind of like made a list of the most common ones. Um, so the first one is where did you go? Obviously I just mentioned it was at Cove. Yeah, like I mentioned, it was at Cove Hair and Beauty um, by, Aesthetics, by Aesthetics by Eloise. That's a mouthful. Um, Eloise is like, so Eloise comes from a medical background, which is why I felt so comfortable going to her because there's a lot of um, dispute, shall we say, over medics and beauticians giving the treatment um, as beauticians aren't us beauticians don't have the medical background, whereas Eloise does, which is why I felt so comfortable, because obviously if something went wrong for whatever reason, she would know exactly what to do to like rectify it um, and stuff like that. So that's why I felt so comfortable. I was like, yeah, cool. Um, I trust you uh, more so than what I would do if it was just like a beautician who just had a qualification to do fillers. They haven't got a medical background, whereas Eloise does. Um, and when you walk into her like procedure room, is that the right word to call it? So I'm really sorry, my ring light has just broken, so which is really annoying. So if the lighting has changed, I apologise. The lighting in this university room is absolutely atrocious. So if it's very yellow and a bit dull, I do apologise, but I literally can't do anything about it. And that's really annoying because it's actually a pretty new one. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, yeah, if the lighting's changed, that's why, and I'm really sorry. Um, but like I was saying before, Eloise is medically trained, and that is why I felt so comfortable going to her. I knew she knew what she was doing. Um, and yeah. And yeah, always, 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 before you go and get anything like this done, like look into who is doing it for you, what their background is, um, are they medi are they medically trained, and all just that sort of stuff, because you wanna know where you're going. Most popular question, obviously, is did they hurt? I would say no, but then again, everyone has different pain thresholds. Um, the So part of the procedure is that she will numb your lips beforehand using like a numbing cream, um, which takes the edge off. It doesn't completely numb your lips. I don't want you to think that this is what, that's what it does, because it doesn't. Um, it just takes sort of like the sharpness of it away because it's kind of obviously a bit like, well, it is injections. So that initial like 
like sharpness of it is taken off like the edge is taken away basically that is what the London cream does so obviously that helps but it doesn't take away the pain completely um, I wouldn't say that it was painful but I would say it was uncomfortable but not unbearable like it was fine I could sit through it it just wasn't a very comfortable feeling um, and I think more what threw me off was that the um, numbing cream makes your lips tingle and that was really confusing because I had so many like sensations going on so I had that tingling my lips and obviously then I could kind of feel the injection going in and the filler going in so it was just a lot going on basically all at once um, but I wouldn't say it's painful completely bearable um, and it's over so quickly that's another thing which I'll probably get onto in a minute is it's such a quick procedure that you kind of don't even realize it's happening in a way um, but yeah wouldn't say it's painful but then again everyone has different pain thresholds I like to think that I can deal with pain semi okay this is coming from a massive drama queen <laughs> um, but I like to think that I can deal with it okay so if I can get it done most people can get, can get it done so the next question is what was the procedure like um, Okay, so I'll try and do like a brief overview, like step by step, try not to bore you too much. Beforehand you have like a consultation, at the moment they're done over FaceTime obviously because of Covid um, and you can chat to the consultant or in this case Eloise about um, the procedure itself, what look you want to achieve, what you want to be done um, and then she'll sort of talk you through the whole process yourself to so make you feel a bit more comfortable. She'll answer any questions you have um, on the FaceTime call, but also like just message them if you've got any more questions because that is exactly what I did. Um, I had so many questions um, and Eloise answered all of them. Like every day I was messaging her because I was quite nervous about the procedure actually because I've never had any cosmetic -y type things done before. Um, so yeah, messaged Eloise and she answered all my questions. So that was kind of like the first part um, where you like establish your goals and what you want to achieve. Um, and then obviously you pick a date, you go in um, and when you arrive you'll quickly go over again like the goals and she'll talk you through the whole process again just so you're like absolutely certain about what you want and also you're really comfortable about what she's about to do. Then um, so after she's spoken about how she's going to do it and whatever that's when it happens. Um, so it's a really really simple like the actual procedure is really simple. So to begin with you'll lie back, she'll like you know prep up and whatever and she'll numb your lips so that's the numbing cream like I said this is just a really weird sensation or it's weird for me because they just start to tingle um, and they're not completely numb but like you can still if you like tap them you can still feel it um, but it's just enough to take the edge off she'll pop the numbing cream on for you and she'll leave that to sit for like five or so minutes and we just sort of had a chat about um, well life really to be honest we just sort of spoke and um, Eloise is really good at making me feel really relaxed which is quite a big part of the whole procedure especially if you've never had it done before like you want to feel calm and relaxed and she was really good at that so we were just talking about life and whatever um, and then once the cream was ready to come off she just sort of like wiped it off and then she went in with the filler um, now this is a really really quick procedure um, it literally takes this well, it literally takes 15 minutes which I was so shocked by because I was saying to Louise that like I thought it was gonna take a long time to do not a long time but like at least an hour um, but it's like a 15 minute procedure so the way that she does it is you have two injections um, well four injections in total on your top lip so one two three four and then the same on the bottom so one two three four um, so that's the initial filler which is really quick now as she was doing this she was again speaking me through the whole process um, and Eloise is quite big on like breathing exercises um, so like breathing in deeply when she puts the injection in and then breathing out obviously when she pulls the injection out I guess um, which is really good because that gives your brain something else to focus on other than the pain so instead of thinking about the pain you're thinking about your breathing it's like a bit of psychology type stuff I guess um, but yeah so throughout the whole of the eight injections that is what I was doing if you watch back the clip from my previous video which obviously I'll link below um, of when you can where you can watch basically me have my lips done you can see as the procedure is going on like you properly like breathing in and breathing out as the injections were going on um so yeah just big on breathing exercises and then the eight injections were literally over within 10 minutes or whatever um and with filler it's like an instant difference so you could instantly see the difference it had on my lips um so once she'd done the initial eight injections she showed me my lips and she talked me through some additional things that she wanted to do so we just sort of enhanced my cupid bow afterwards um and also I have like a little, I think it's called like a pillow lip, um, so in the middle of my bottom lip there's like a little dip 
which I always said that I liked and she made sure that she didn't fill that part of my lips. So once you've had the initial set, um, they'll then go over they'll they will then go over and tell you um, what they think you need to enhance or you know if there's any touch ups that they think you know would benefit you, they'll tell you. And if not, you may just finish at the eight and that's that. Um, and eight sounds like a lot, but it's really not. They're literally over within 30 seconds and you have like a little break and then go in with the next one and whatever. So yeah, we enhanced my cupid bow with an extra two injections. Um, and that was the procedure basically. So once she had done that, we she then showed me my lips. Um, and if I had any, you know, if I wanted an extra bit of filler wherever, she would be like, yeah, that's fine. But I didn't, I was really impressed with the results. Um, and like I say, filler is one of those things that you can notice an instant difference. So as soon as I'd had them done, like I loved my lips, the difference was insane. Um, and I and it doesn't look like I've had filler, I don't think. Um, you probably can tell if you just looked at me. Um, so she's done a really good job in making sure that it was natural, which was my like overall goal. I think that's, and then obviously like you have the recovery time, but there literally is no recovery time with filler, which is really good. I, yeah, in brief, that was the procedure. Uh, really quick, really easy, I guess, and simple. Um, and it didn't hurt. So the next question is, is it worth the money? For me, I would say yes. So Eloise kindly gifted me my lip fillers um, as part of like a collaboration, so I didn't actually pay for them. However, um, I'm so glad I got it done. If I was paying for it, then it would be 100% worth the money. Um, but I would say you wanna make sure that you're like 100% certain on getting it done because not that it's like a massive thing, and obviously filler dissolves anyway after like, well, between six and eight months, depending on your depending on your metabolism, so eventually it'll go. Um, however, if you're not sure on it and you're having doubts, then it might not be worth the money because you don't wanna spend it and then be like, oh, actually, I really hate them. Um, so yeah, I would say it's 100% worth the money and it really boosted my confidence and, it not, and it's such a subtle change, so it sounds ridiculous, um, but it really did give me that extra like bit of confidence, which was good. So the next question is, did you use numbing cream? So like I said, um, Eloise puts numbing cream on your lips anyway. I don't know if this is like a general thing. Like, I don't know if most medics do that. If it's like a general thing with lip fillers. Uh, however, she did it with mine. I didn't even have to ask. Um, she does it with all her clients. You can say like no if you don't want the numbing cream because you're hard as nails, not like me. And it's like yeah. But I said yes to it because um, it was my first time. I was a little bit nervous and I just wanted to make sure that I could bear it. And it was fine. It was bearable. So yes, I did, I did use numbing cream and I think it did make quite a big difference in all fairness. So the next question is, did they bruise? Now, a lot of people, myself included, I was worried about the bruising because I didn't tell anyone about this. I literally told my boyfriend and that was it. Um, and so, <laughs> but I was worried about the bruising and people like noticing. Everyone is different when it comes to bruising. Now, I thought I was gonna bruise loads because I bruise like a peach, like just in general, like day to day life. Um, however, my lips really did bruise that much. I'll put a picture here of like just after I'd had them done and you can slightly see like a couple of dark marks, um, which is the bruising, but it's not like overly visible. Like I wouldn't say, like you probably had to look at me to know that they were there. Um, but then again, much like the pain aspect of it, the bruising aspect, everyone is completely different. You might bruise quite a bit, you might bruise like not at all. I was quite lucky that I had a tiny bit of bruising, but it was nothing like, nothing huge um, I could get away with going out and not covering it um, and it's the same with swelling I was worried that my lips were gonna swell loads but they swelled is that a word swelled they were a little bit swollen <laughs> um, but they weren't anything like too drastic so the bruising and the swelling again it's completely dependent on the person um, and differs you know for everyone so what was the aftercare like in all fairness there isn't actually a lot of aftercare um, I think it's called like downtime. There is no downtime after filler. You can get on with your daily life straight after basically, um, which I did. The recommendation is to not use any like lip products on your lips obviously because it's like an open, not open wound, that makes it sound like a massive cut, but they've, what's the word? Obviously where you've had injections, you want to keep it clean basically. So they say not to use any like lipsticks, lip glosses until it's fully healed. Um, I just got myself a tub of like fresh Vaseline because that's kind of all I wear. Um, and I just used that on my lips in the evening um, and when I got back just to make sure they were hydrated as well. But that is the only really 
thing you need to be careful of is like keeping it clean but aside from that you can literally go out and do whatever straight after like I say I went out for dinner and then I went out for drinks um, with my boyfriend's family um, and I was completely fine they were slightly sore like I, I could feel that I had had something done but it wasn't unbearable the main thing is keep them clean because if you put like a lipstick on it that you've had for ages there might be I don't know germs or whatever in there um, which could like infect it but yeah just be careful basically um, and then the last question that I'm going to answer today because I didn't want to go on too much is what was it like regarding COVID or how did it work with COVID? So obviously we're still in the middle of a pandemic, I don't need to tell you that. Um, so I was a little bit nervous about going to get it done because I was like how is it going to work with the whole like restrictions with the face coverings and all of that stuff. Um, and rightly so, like I think everyone's still a bit nervous about, oh no I am, like, about going out and doing stuff. And this was the first time that I'd been into Brighton all year actually um, and more so like since the pandemic I've not been into town at all so yeah it's my first time in Brighton which I was nervous about but I didn't actually go into town so Cove is based in the Hilton Hotel which is on the seafront so I just parked in a car park and like walked down there um, so yeah regarding Covid they were brilliant at like all of like the restrictions and keeping us safe basically so when you walked into the Hilton so Eloise came to meet me outside um, and then obviously as soon as you walked into the Hilton you had to wear a mask all the way through right through to the salon and then obviously once you were in the salon you still had to keep it on because where Eloise is based obviously Co-Hair and Beauty is a beauty salon so they do hair they do obviously um, they do like nails and stuff like that and obviously if you're having those things done um, you have to wear the mask whilst you're having it done but obviously with lip fillers it's a bit harder so as soon as I got into Eloise's room, I kept my mask on whilst we were talking and whilst we were like sort of going over the procedure. And whilst the procedure was being done, obviously I had to take my mask off, I couldn't have that on. Um, but Eloise kept her mask on. She also had like a um, visor, is that what it's called? Like the plastic thing over your face. She wore gloves, like I watched her wash her hands and sanitise her hands. That's another thing actually, you have to sanitise your hands as you walk into the Hilton I think. And also in the... Um, like procedure room so I did that um, and yeah it was all really safe Eloise stayed covered up for the whole procedure um, as soon as I had, like had, had my lips done um, I put my mask straight back on um, because obviously like that's that's the rules um, so I put it back on to walk back through the Hilton and obviously back out but yeah overall it was really good there was like two meter markings between everyone like one way systems in place um, and everyone was abiding by it which was really good because I know that some places like ever since I've got to Leicester no one is abiding by it like coronavirus isn't even a thing here because clearly no one cares um, but yeah when I was getting this done everyone abided by it which was really good and I felt really safe um, and for my first trip back into Brighton um, I'm glad it was that because yeah it was just a good experience and given the circumstances I felt incredibly safe but yeah it's just about being sensible pretty much uh, sanitizing points on my systems like I say and it was all really well thought out but yeah I felt safe which is good <laughs> um so yeah that's all the questions that I'm gonna answer today I th feel like they're the most popular ones like does it hurt and all that stuff um and I'm sure I could have answered a lot more but I don't want to bore you all however if anyone does have any questions just like either leave them below or like DM me on Instagram or whatever um, and I'll get back to you leave all of Eloise's social medias in the description box down below so make sure you go and check her out she's amazing at what she does um, and I'm so 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 grateful that we worked together on this and I cannot wait for my like um, top up filler in a few weeks time I'll vlog the whole of that as well so make sure you stick around um, and yeah but yeah I hope you have all enjoyed this video I'm really sorry about the ring light breaking but what can you do I don't know what I'm gonna do actually because I relied on my ring light <laughs> for good lighting in the scene room uh, but we move um, but yeah hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below for weekly uploads I've got a lot in the pipeline at the moment um, which is exciting um, and yeah I will see you all in my next video